Hello folks, this is Kya Hal. So last weekend I had the pleasure of going to Poland with Girlcon International's Berlin chapter and we went to a city called Chechen. Chechen. Staten? So a few important details. We took Deutsche Bahn from uh, Berlin Gesundbrunnen to the Chechen Glauny station. It is about an hour and 45 minutes. The entire trip, trip cost is about uh, 22 euros, which included the tickets back and forth, a museum tour and a guided tour. So I would say it's particularly affordable for people who want to do just a trade day trip without breaking the bank. So the first, our first stop and the museum that we went to is called Underground Roots Museum. It is an anti, it was an anti nuclear shelter when World War II was going on. It is five floors deep. They have tried to preserve it as best as they could. There are rooms for women, there are rooms for children, men, how people were segregated, how things, how life was. There's even a section for um, bunker fashion. It, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a thing, but what kind of clothes people wore back then. So it's quite, quite interesting uh, to work. In, museum, in museums like these, I'm always very fascinated to see how the city was before the war and how what the war did to the city. So, like most German cities, this it was literally burned to the ground. There were squares that had just demolished into rubble. So it's, it's quite a sort of a reality check as to what war does to people who are directly affected by it. So now we are going to get out of here and have some food. So our next stop is lunch. We are going to this restaurant called Columbus. It has amazing, amazing ratings on Google as well. It is known for pierogi and came highly recommended. So we are going to go there for lunch. It is at a higher plane, so we have to walk a little bit, climb a few um, steps. So most of us had soup for starters and that was pretty pretty nice. It was warm, filling and just was a good good idea. I also tried pierogi for the first time. It is essentially dumplings, but without cheese or meat, and um, it's okay. And now we're off to a walking tour of the city. So we have two hours of going around the city, seeing the sights, and it is a guided tour. So we have a man who is telling us about the city. It was built by, constructed by, by Swedish, by Swedish artists. Every hour, in, ten, in five minutes, it will come. Here than uh, the other one, and uh, here in the castle we have uh, the seat of our... So what did we see? We saw Duke's castle, we saw a couple of churches, we saw the river, we saw the house of uh, chief and marshal and government people who live there. In all honesty, I could have very easily done without the tour. It is another kind of city which requires a guided city tour you can just do that by yourself and literally let your interest guide you so yeah i would recommend do it on yourself do it on your own do it yourself <laughs> A fall that we saw, Philharmonica was definitely one of the things that I loved the most. I just love the architecture of it. It is a beautifully constructed building with a very smart construction, very smart angles. It is just a, it was just a treat to be in and if you're here, check the schedule beforehand. Maybe there's a concert going on that you can attend. I would have loved to, so maybe next time.
legit tired. Coffee and cake, please. The last stop of our day is Be Happy Museum. There's not much to say, there's not much to tell you about it. It's just a very colorful museum, and I'll let you enjoy the pictures. <laughs> Time to go back home. Thank you, Gigi Abelian, for organizing this. It was an absolute, absolute pleasure. And see you later. Bye.